Hi, this video is being created to show you how to work with the images on our new School Messenger website when you are updating your class pages. So to get started, we're simply going to go to Prince William County's webpage and click on Carydale, or go directly to Carydale's webpage, your choice. And then once you get to Carydale's webpage, you're going to go up to the top and you're going to log in. You're going to be logging in with your computer credentials, whatever you log into a computer with. At school, that's what you'll be logging into with this website. That is now called your Prince William County username and your Prince William County password. Once you have logged in to our site, you're going to go ahead and navigate to classes and then find your page. Tonight I'll be working with my page in technology. So I'll be going to technology. And sometimes it does take a smidge to load, but it is pretty fast. And then since we're going to be working with images tonight, we're going to go ahead and go over to design mode. And where it says off, we're going to click that and we're going to turn it on. And again, that might take a second to load. But it should be fairly quick. So you have two ways to edit. I'm sorry, two ways to edit your um, content on your web page. The first way is you can just simply scroll over the box, click the box, and a bigger um, a bigger bar will show up here. Or the second way is to click the pencil and just edit that box, which is a great way to do it too. I will, um, I forgot to warn some of you earlier, all of this stuff up here, you don't need any of that because we are using a form, a format, a template that I set up for you already. You don't need to add any other content or data or, or banners or anything because we are all set there. If you have any questions about that, certainly let me know at the time. You do. Gosh. So we're going to go ahead and click the pencil. We're going to click the pencil. It's a little slow this evening. And then you are going to scroll down and you're going to go to the image manager, which is a picture of a little mountain with a little sun on top. You're going to click that. And this is what you're going to use to navigate to wherever your images are. And then go ahead and upload them into your folder so then you can upload them into your page. This after knew when I, sh when I showed our colleagues how to do this, we didn't have the file, the fo file folders here. We just had a, a long list. I went ahead to help us get a little organized. I helped, I created teacher folders. So before you do anything, once you're in the image manager, you want to click on teachers, the folder. <laughs> oh, click on teachers on the side, find your folder and open that folder up from there. That way all of your images can be in one folder and you don't have to figure out whose pictures are where. So I don't have any images in this folder yet, but I will. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, once I'm in my folder, I'm going to go ahead and click upload and I'm going to um, go ahead and navigate to where I have some of my images that I want to use on my page today. So here's one image I would like to use, the sun. So I'm going to click it and click open. And then I'm going to go get another one. So I'm going to hit select and I am going to get, um, where did that, oh, there it is. Get the earth day one and then click open. And then once I have as many pictures as I need, your maximum file size in one upload is 10 megs. So just keep an eye on that. But this is, this amounts very little. Um, now I'll click upload and that will put them in my folder instead of that long big list under images it will put, put it right in my folder which I love so I would like all of you guys to start using that as well so once I have my images to upload on my page I'm going to select the one I want to put in first you can only put one in at a time and every time you put in an image you must add something they call alt text. And if you forget, it will prompt you. So if I click insert right now, it's saying right here, please enter the alt text. So I'm gonna click okay, and I'm gonna go to properties. I don't need to change anything else here, but I'm going to go to alt text, and I'm just gonna type the word sun. You need to type something that, type a couple words that describe the picture you're uploading. So when this website is read with somebody with a screen reader, then they will know what the content is of the picture. That's why we're doing this. 
So you want to click insert after you've done that and then it insert it right over the picture I had there before. The reason why I did that, and I can show you again with this one, is that I had it highlighted. If you highlight a picture and then go into image editor, it will put your new picture right on, right where the other one was. If you don't highlight it, then uh, it's going to go ahead and do it. If you don't highlight it, then it will put it just on the page and you can move it around wherever you want to move it to. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to, I'm going to get the Earth Day one and I'll show you how it's going to put it right over the old picture. I can't forget it with the alt text, so I'm just going to say Earth with hands. And then I'm going to click insert and see, right in the same position, right, right on the same page. That is how you use the image manager to change images. You can also go in and click on them and use the boxes to make it bigger, smaller, however you want. You know, the ones in the middle, stretch it out a little bit and that kind of thing. You can also, when you have the four, when you have the four um, things, you can move it a little bit. You can also right click and go right into image map editor. And that tells you where you're putting the thing. Is it going to be rectangle, circle? Do you want to the left, to the top, all that kind of stuff? Where do you want it? That will help you do that. Um, you can also go into, where was I? Into properties. And that will also um, show you if you go to image alignment, you can click on that and that can, you can move it down if you wanted to. And so you click OK. And it should, yeah, if you move it down, it will allow you, if you click that down arrow, it will allow you to move it down or up or however you want it. So those are just a couple, actually several different tricks for moving the image in the um, edit box around. But those are the basics on how to do this. There are more directions in the handout that we're sending out with this as well. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact your ITC, which is Marie. Thank you very much, and I hope this video works. Thank you.